is it inside of you that, let's be frank, you didn't want to give up? Um, like I was just saying before, um, I think just knowing what you're worth and, um, you know, never giving up. And I've had a dream to play in the NFL my whole life. And, you know, I'm not going to let somebody telling me no to stop me. You know, I'm not going to let that be the, the last straw. Um, I have been cut a lot and I've always felt like it shouldn't have happened and I like that to be my mindset because I know that I belong out there and you know when you get chances to prove it you want to take advantage and, and prove people wrong and prove people right that believe in you. Was that what kept the fire going that I know I still have this and this team may not see this or that team may not see it but maybe somebody else's like the Dolphins? Yeah and I think that's just believing in yourself you know lucky for me I was with Mike in San Francisco and although I didn't play a lot over there uh, on offense um, he got to see me every single day in practice, and I think that's one of the reasons he wanted me over there, over here, because um, you know he was able to see my work ethic and and how on top of it I was without even getting reps in the game, and um, definitely something I pride myself on and gonna continue to do. Griffin, was there a time? I, I know you kept the faith up, but was there ever a time when that faith was wavering or? Every time that you took an outside job just to keep going? No, I never took an outside job uh, thanks to my parents, uh, you know, forcing me to, to stick to my dreams and whatnot. But, um, yeah, of course, you know, in, in 2019, I, I got cut week two, and um, I was basically out of the league the whole year, and uh, I didn't have any tryouts, and, and that was a really frustrating time. Uh, coming off of an active roster for, for 10 straight weeks the, the year prior and the first two weeks of that season, uh, to not get a tryout is is frustrating, you know. And um, but I, I knew I belonged in the league, and I just stuck it out, and and luckily found my way back in thanks to my agent and, and my work. So uh, we're right where we want to be. Were you a stubborn kid growing up? <laughs> Maybe in a good way. I like to think. <laughs> to be part of a, an offensive performance like we saw, you know, the buzz of week one really. Uh, like Daniel said, obviously you can't take the 35 points and bring it to the next week, but how much confidence? <laughs> Uh, well, you know, New England's a, a different defense, and, and they got us last year at the end of the year. So um, got to come in with a new mindset that, you know, we're going to attack them, and um, and we're going to bring the fight to them. And I think that's what's important starting in our room uh, with the guys that we have. Um, just with the leadership with uh, Tyreek and Jalen, like, you know, those guys are hard to stop. And, and when you have good compliments off of that, um, that's good ball. Not that you'd want to go this route if you had your choice, but... Do you appreciate what you're going through now that much more because of the road you've taken? Of course. And, you know, it's um, you always like to look ahead, and I always look to, to things as milestones rather than, like, this is my goal. You know, this is a milestone. Uh, the goal is larger than where we're at right now. So um, keeping my goal to myself um, long term. Um, we've crossed a milestone as far as making the roster and whatnot, and, and now being able to produce on the field is obviously another milestone that you just keep improving each week on.